What's up everyone, it's the Retro Gamer bringing you another YouTube video. I know, shocking. Oh, this week's topic is about The Legend of Zelda. Sort of no big secret based upon what you see behind me that I like Nintendo. I have every single Nintendo console they've ever made. And typically if that console's had Zelda on it, I've played it. Uh, with the exception of a couple of Zelda games, I've pretty much played them all. Um, and the most recent one that I played, of course, was Link Between Worlds, and that's where this video is coming into play. Because I wanted to discuss how I think Zelda could improve for Zelda Wii U. Now, for me, Zelda Wii U is the most critical, the most important Zelda game more so than Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword was a huge thing for me. The idea of Wii Motion Plus to get accurate one-to-one -one controls was something that I was like, you need to do this with Twilight Princess, but I get it. You know. Anyways. The point is, is that the Wii U isn't doing so great. It needs a Zelda game, and it needs to be Phenomenal. It needs to be a huge thing. It needs to be a big experience. It needs to be open world. It needs to be like Dark Souls. It needs to be a huge game that allows you to go in any direction that you want. And it needs to be similar to how a link between past and a link to the I feel I'm I'm sorry, I'm just messing up a lot. Anyways, it needs to be a lot like what Link between worlds was. Minus the shop. It does, you don't need to have a place where you can go in and get every single item. It doesn't need a place where you can just go in and be like, yeah, I'll take the, the bow and arrow. That's all I need now, right? Just the next dungeon can just be bow and arrow. Yeah, okay, cool. Or you do it like I did, and you just get enough money to get all the items, and then anywhere that you explore, it's just like, hmm, bomb. Okay, I'll switch. Now you do need to do like you did a full link between worlds and have it to where, you know, it's, it's integration with the touch screen, you can swap items out, you can put little uh, pinpoints on the map about where you want to go and places to remember, so that way in case you want to come back later you have a circle around it like, hey, there's a bomb secret here, you know? But you don't need to do the following two things, you don't need to put a shop in there. No Rubio shop. No, no place to, where all the items are. You also need to put them in the dungeons. And if you do, you need to swap them around. Okay? You need to have it to where maybe the fourth dungeon has an item that's going to really make it easy for the second dungeon. Because if you're going to make it to where it's more like a link between worlds and you can explore the dungeon in any order, you need to really have it to where you want to explore them. But what I suggest, this is my idea. This is what I've wanted them to do uh, pretty much ever since Skyward Sword. And I suggested it for Skyward Sword. I suggested it for Link Between Worlds. I'm going to suggest it again. Do it like a Mega Man style game. Not where every single level is on a screen, of course, and you can pick it. But have it to where you can go to the dungeons in any order. And you can just simply go in with your weapon. You know? Like, think about it. This is why I like this idea a lot. Something that I like about Zelda is, or something that I like about Link Between Worlds most specifically, is that there's a lot of dungeons that really don't need the items, but they make it to where because they don't know which item you have, you can, you can, you can be creative. You can take like the hook shot and you can get items from from enemies and you can blow them up. You can hit them with a boomerang and hit them with the sword. You got a lot of options that you can do, but you can also just simply go in with your sword and your shield. And you don't really have to use any items, except for when it comes to certain games where they make a whole themed dungeon, or they make a themed boss that is obviously weak against the fire rod. What I suggest is, make it like it's the Mega Man thing, to where, hey, this is an, this is an ice palace, there's going to be an ice boss, he's weak against fire, you don't have to have the fire rod. You can beat him using your sword and your shield. But, 
if you happen to have the fire rod, the fight's going to be a lot easier. I like that idea a lot because to, to me, it, it's kind of like, um, what was it? I don't remember the name of the dungeon. But there was one in Twilight Princess, and even in Skyward Sword, where I thought, you know, if they made it to where I could just simply explore this at my at my pace rather than take a certain path, it'd be great. You know, I have a key. I could open any three of the locked doors, and I can get to where I need to go based upon that. But maybe if I have, like, let's say I have the boomerang, and I clearly can't get across that gap, and the way that the game is normally designed is I needed to take the left path to pull the switch to pull a bridge down to get across that gap. Well, I would like it to where I can do it that way if I have my sword and shield, or if I don't have the boomerang. But if I have the boomerang, maybe I look up and I knock down a vine, and a vine comes down and I can swing across the gap. To where I can really play the game however I want, and it's a di different experience based upon how I want to play. You know, that way this whole idea of needing a hero mode already included is kind of silly because you can play the game however you like. You know? Um, I could talk a little bit more about what I want to see them do controller-wise, but that's going to be more when they announce Zelda Wii U, whenever they get around to it, whenever they decide that they want to show off a te something more than just a tech demo and actually talk about it. I'll talk a little bit more about what I want Nintendo to do with Zelda Wii U when they actually show something to talk about. But as of right now, based upon not knowing anything about it and just the fact that we want to go with a little more open world, I really do think that this is the best course. Make it to us like Dark Souls. Something I really like about Dark Souls is the fact that I can go anywhere at any time. I can choose to go straight and try to decide that's not going to work for me. I'm going to go down and around. I can go above and around. You know, I can I can literally choose the path that I want to take, and I can eventually learn enemy patterns and get through something, or I can go up and I can go through the trouble of actually trying to find an uber powerful weapon, or keep grinding until I get enough souls to then purchase the materials to. You know what I mean? That's the kind of stuff that I want to see in Zelda. I want to be able to see the upgraded weapons like what I got in Skyward Sword and Link Between Worlds, but I also want to have it to where. It's more like what it was with Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass, where you had materials that you had to get. And you had to take them to blacksmiths or something. I want to have it to where, if I really want to do get the fire rod to make Ice Palace easier, I have to go an hour and a half out of my way up to the tallest mountain. And then in there is a cave with a secret mini dungeon that's going to give me the fire rod. Make it to where it's an effort. That way I can play however I want. Yes, this boss fight is going to be hard. And you're probably going to be spending an hour or so on this one boss. If you go and it's just your sword and your shield. But if you actually take the time, or if you've taken the time because it was over in a different region to explore and you found the fire rod, this is going to be a lot easier for you. Don't just hand it to us. Because we're in the dungeon already, you give us an item that's going to be efficient against the boss. Also, don't give us a shop, because that's sort of the same thing. As other than I have to physically go to the dungeon and get it, it's basically just like, hey, here's the item. You know? That's just how I feel, of course, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. That's my two cents. Make sure that you like this video, because... If I see enough likes and I, I, I'll know what people want me to talk about more. You can also shoot me a private message if you do have something you want me to talk about. And if I use it, of course, I'll give you credit. I'll put a link to your YouTube channel and all that stuff. Um, leave comments about the subject. What do you think? Do you think Zelda needs to be more open world and more like Mega Man or Dark Souls where you can do things in a certain order um, and basically just go balls to the walls, go in butt naked with just a stick if you wanted to and play your way you know to where you can either go in and find the item that you want to use and come back or you can just go in with just your sword and your shield and just have a little bit rougher of a time but still get through it that could be your hero mode that could be your additional challenge you know um, otherwise that's my two cents on the matter make sure that you share yours 
Like, subscribe as always, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.